Hello, in this video we're going to look at the ratio of independent gamma random variables and show that it is transformed to what's called a beta prime distribution. And a beta prime distribution is, I'm going to call it a cousin to the beta distribution. Um, they're one-to-one -one functions of each other. So here, if we let xi be exponential 1 random variables, say, say m of them, um, and we sum them up, then we get a gamma of, of uh, alpha equal m and beta 1. And the same way with the y's. So if we let the y's be an exponential 1 random variable, and there's n of them, we sum them up, we get a gamma of alpha equal to n and beta equal to 1. So the distribution of x, gamma, of m1 is this. So generally there would be a beta divided by beta and a beta raised to the alpha here, but since beta is 1, it's not present. And the distribution of y is this. x and y are independent. So that says their joint density is actually just the product of the two, so this times that. Now, to find the distribution of the ratio of x and y, we need a variable transformation. So let's let z be x over y, and we want to find the density of z. But whenever we go from two space, you know, we, we have to go to two space. So r2 to r2, so we have to create a, um, oh, an, an easy variable that we can integrate out. So we're going to find the joint density of z and t, and then integrate out t. And so we just let t be y, which is that gamma distribution. Now, we can back solve for x and y, and we get this. And then, then to find the Jacobian of the transformation, we get this. So this is the partial of x with respect to t. This is the partial of x with respect to z, and this is y. So we get minus t is, is uh, the Jacobian. Now, in our transformation, it's simply this, f of x, but plug in this x, and f of y, and plug in that y, and then the absolute value of the Jacobian. So it's just going to end up being t. So here is the gamma distribution uh, for x, but we plug in tz, and then here it is for this and the absolute value of the Jacobian. So now, this, and we collect like terms, and then this is the joint density of t and z. But we want z, so we need to integrate out t. And t was a gamma, so it goes from 0 to infinity. So when we integrate out this joint, t from the joint distribution, we go from 0 to infinity. And so we plug this in here. And now anything that's not a t, we can take out front. And we're left with this. So this is a gamma distribution. And now there's no constants out front. And so this integrates to whatever those, like if we had the constants, that integrate to 1. But since we don't, then it integrates to those, the reciprocal of those constants, which is this. So uh, this is beta 1 plus z to the minus 1, because beta is in below it. And alpha is m plus n. And so this right here. Um, actually this and that is what this integrates to because that comes down that is this but I write it like this and where z goes uh, from 0 to infinity because this is the the form of what's called a beta prime distribution um, now I have videos on the mean and the variance of a beta prime and uh, the uh, and actually if you look at the I'm going to say the uh, distribution or the mean and variance of a t distribution, the beta prime comes up. So, but anyway, that's all I have for today. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like it and subscribe so you don't miss the next one. Thanks. Bye.